from ICT Agriculture Extension Services Center, Director General Agriculture Extension, Government of Sin. Uh, we welcome to Mr. Bika, you and our uh, Secretary, Abdul Rahim uh, This is a um, uh, discussion about uh, Rabika uh, Bell, and she is a favorite representative in the country head in Pakistan. So, uh, we will discuss today about the agriculture of Sin and uh, uh, partnership with the FAO in So, first, uh, Rebecca, from uh, your side, um, today you have visited this uh, RCD Agriculture Extension Services Center and uh, our uh, secretary gave you a brief about not only RCD but uh, Agriculture Extension Services and other parts of other wings of Agriculture Department. So, uh, first, how you feel that uh, agriculture of sin mm -hmm. and these interventions are uh, uh, feeling for you for the development of agriculture of sin. Mm. Well, thank you very much and thank you for having me and we've had a lovely time here learning more about um, specifically about the ICT Centre here in the Department of Agricultural Extension but also more about uh, the Department of Agriculture and uh, all of the wonderful programs and activities that are going on and we've gone through uh, a list of those today and ways in which uh, we can continue to support the partnership between the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations with the Department of Agriculture here in SIN. Um, FAO has a, uh, currently four projects uh, working directly with the Department of Agriculture here in SIN on agricultural production value chain development, uh, on-farm uh, processing and value addition and things like that and particularly also working on climate change adaptation and also on-farm water and water accounting and things like that. We also have another portfolio of projects with the irrigation department working on the barrages and the irrigation system, so big water and then we also are uh, working with the forestry department on ecosystem restoration and supporting the 10 billion tree tsunami. In addition to that, we have a range of technical cooperation projects uh, in improving digitization for farmers so that farmers can have more access to wonderful products like this ICT center and the, and the call center and your apps and your other Facebook and social media feeds. Uh, we have uh, some more work in supporting farmers uh, and the government cope with the fall army women. We continue to support the government with respect to uh, surveillance and control of locusts. Right. And then we also work in areas such as fisheries and uh, working on leftover fishing equipment, working with the International Tuna Commission, all sorts of things that relate to farmers and, and fishers and foresters in, in Sin. I mean, Sindh has to be one of the great food bowls of Pakistan. You know, incredible ranges of horticultural produce, uh, crop-based produce. Uh, you are the cotton producers of, of Pakistan. And so we're very happy to continue to work with and support uh, the vision of the Department of Agriculture. As a technical advisory agency, our job is to partner with the department and to work on the areas that the department has identified uh, will help you resolve the challenges that you're facing. And we're all facing challenges, whether that be an input supply or climate change response or you know, working under new irrigation conditions or anything like that. So we're very happy to partner with the Department of Agriculture in the scene. Okay, so uh, uh, what do you expect from uh, the FAO uh, as an overall head of the Agriculture Department, Government of SIN? Uh, you know, uh, Agriculture Department is uh, the partner organization of the FAO and we have been working since beginning and now we are working recently to sign an agreement on uh, uh, GCF mm -hmm. uh, in Islamabad. Me and Rebecca signed it so, and we are planning to continue this work. Mm -hmm. and not only this, but uh, uh, since uh, the FAO is our technical advisor and uh, we are getting their support in every aspect, even the food and water management and likewise the agriculture extension and research services. Mm -hmm. So we have, uh, day before yesterday, she was in my office in Karachi and we discussed a series of uh, activities which we are planning to go together. 
and also the amendments in the agriculture laws and uh, we will seek their advice and assistance uh, and support in amendment in agriculture laws that will help in eventually in the food security of the province and of course of the country. Mm -hmm. uh, Ravi, what's your message uh, for the farmers, farming community because ultimately a uh, farmer is the beneficiary of the FAO's interventions and agriculture mm -hmm. power. Mm -hmm. Look, I mean, particularly our organisation is about working with smallholder farmers and improving the income opportunities for smallholder farmers, you know, without degrading the environment uh, so that people can have better health outcomes and then better lifestyle outcomes. At FAO, we call this the four betters. Better production, better nutrition, better environment, and then better livelihoods. And so these are the ways in which we are moving forward with our program. Uh, to support the farmers of sin. And when I say farmers of sin, I'm talking equally the men and women farmers of sin. And uh, we're looking to work with them as well as with the private sector and others to help them uh, make better use of the wonderful agricultural products of sin. And then also to work then with the government and others who provide the regulatory and policy and budgetary support to right. make all that happen. Together, you know, from from the farm to the fork, this is called a food system. And so we're working hopefully on all aspects of this food system and making sure that the production fits what it is that people are needing and required to eat for a healthy diet and a good livelihood. And making sure that farmers get the right economic return for all of their valuable labor that they've invested uh, in the production of these terrific crops and commodities that we've got here in Sin. Uh, so, uh in the uh, last of this uh, discussion, uh, what would be your message for the farming community and at the same time the service provider of uh, agriculture farm? You know, I'm really happy that uh, some new interventions have been developed uh, in the interest of the farmers as uh, our extension services introduced uh, farmer field dry handwork and, and the communication through the social media network and other things and uh, of course the idea is that the farmer should be kept aware of all the uh, issues and the, uh, the methods of uh, better agriculture and especially they should be made cognizant of the climate issues which uh, the entire world is facing especially this part of it. And uh, the big I pointed out the gender issue that farmer means lady and gentleman both. So uh, I, I know and I realize that in the agriculture uh, department we have a less gender representation but recently through Central Research Commission we have uh, appointed uh, quite good girls uh, in, as agriculture graduates, as uh, agriculture officers and we are now and, and we have good enough uh, representation in, of a woman in our agriculture research so we are also sensitive on it because uh, when we talk about the agriculture, the more than 50% uh, agriculture field workers are the women. Right. And uh, likewise, livestock rearing is done by women. Mm. So this is very important and we are also gender sensitive and we will encourage as a government policy to employ more women in our organization so that we can work together and these women will be more comfortable while going into the fields and talking to the female farmers. So the agriculture department has a vision and we are working on it and we, close we are in close liaison with the farmer communities, farmer organizations mm -hmm. and through our field assistant, through our uh, uh, field staff, deputy directors and the directors, we are in constant in touch and we are here to help the farmers in all aspects. And likewise, their issues are also being raised. Uh, represent we are the representative of the farmers in the provincial policies in the cabinet meetings and we take all these issues to the uh, cabinet members including the chief minister mm -hmm. yeah. so uh, thank you very much uh, thank you very much for uh, being here in our city agriculture essential services center and giving a message and sir uh, your message to the farming community and other stakeholders so we wish to work together agriculture department and the FAO for the future uh, planning and uh, interventions in SIN and SIN will be a uh, good agricultural uh, platform for the Pakistan. Thank you very much.